In this experiment, I'm going to show you two different types of chemical reactions. First, I'm going to show you a hot pack, which is a chemical reaction that's called an exothermic reaction. Then I'm going to show you what's called an endothermic reaction or a cold pack. Let's get started. Let's start with hot pack. To do that, I'm going to take this little beaker with this little baby test tube and I'm going to measure the temperature of this water because we need to take a before temperature of the water. All right, so let's check our thermometer. Looks like it's at 16 degrees Celsius. You can see right there, it's at 16 degrees. I'm going to write that down on the paper. So starting 16 degrees Celsius. All right, now I'm going to take a chemical <clears throat> called calcium chloride. So here's the, here's the reaction. It's going to be calcium chloride plus water, and it's going to get hot. So here's my calcium chloride. And you can see it looks like kind of like dipping dots, but they're kind of white. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to dump it into this little test tube right here. I'm going to try and pour as much as I can in and you'll see it going in there. I may not need all of it. That's probably good enough. Okay, now you can see it in there and I'm gonna mix it up and I'm gonna watch the thermometer. Oh wow, the thermometer's shooting up. It's going 29, 30 degrees. That's body temperature almost. Body temperature is actually 37. So it's 35, 36. Now it's at body temperature, 37 degrees. You can see it looks white. And if I feel the test tube, it feels really warm. It feels like as hot as a jacuzzi. Now almost 40 degrees Celsius. So it's over 100 degrees now. So I'm mashing it up. It's like a white cloudy liquid. This is just calcium chloride and water. It's about, I would say, I'm gonna, it's halfway between 39 and 40. I'm gonna say 39 degrees. That was our max temperature. Okay, so 39 degrees was our max temperature. I'm gonna write that down. So it got really hot. 39 degrees Celsius. All right, here's our final results for hot pack. So when I mixed calcium chloride with water, it got hot. It went from 16 degrees, which is kind of cool, all the way up to 39 degrees, which is a little over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's an example of an exothermic reaction or a hot pack. Okay, now let's do another reaction. This one is gonna be cold pack. This one is endothermic, okay? In this case, we're gonna do ammonium nitrate with water and it's gonna get cold. Let's take our temperature before. So I've got a new little beaker and I'm gonna put the thermometer in and it's gonna, you can see it's dropping rapidly. So we're measuring the temperature of this new water. And let's wait till the thermometer settles down. So looks like it's at 19 degrees Celsius. We'll go below that. That's, that's it, 19 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna take the thermometer out. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the chemical. The new chemical is ammonium nitrate. So this is actually an ingredient in explosives. Um, and by the way, getting uh, calcium chloride and ammonium nitrate might be kind of challenging to buy. I had to buy them from a science supply company. But this kind of looks like dipping dots also, but it's kind of more translucent. It's a little clearer. Um, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour it in the test tube just like I did with the other experiment. So I'm gonna slowly try and pour that in as much as I can. Okay, that's probably good. All right, now I'm gonna put the thermometer in and we're gonna measure the temperature. Wow, look at the temperature is plummeting. It is dropping down 10 degrees. So see it in there? And now it's down to six degrees above zero. It's ice water right now, basically. Can I get to zero? It's at three degrees above zero, which is like 34, 35 degrees Fahrenheit. 
It feels cold to the touch. It's now at zero degrees. Is it gonna go negative? So it's at freezing point of water. It's at 32 degrees now. And now we're at negative one degrees. Um, you can see it, it actually has condensation. It feels really cold. It feels like a soda that just came out of the fridge. It is at, at still at negative one degrees. Let's see if I can get it any lower than that. Uh, no, I think negative one degree is the best I can get. Oh, my hand is feeling cold. Getting condensation on there. Wow. Uh-oh, I must have broken the test tube. It's starting to leak. All right, so we got negative one degrees. Let me write down the final temperature. Negative one degree Celsius. All right, so here's our results for our cold pack. Um, we put ammonium nitrate in water, started off with a temperature of 19 degrees Celsius, and the temperature dropped 20 degrees down to negative one Celsius. Wow, that is really cool. All right. That's about it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys.